separate ways during the meeting. We have a moral duty not to squander the historic opportunity to anchor the new democracies of Central and Eastern Europe firmly and permanently in the West. And this must sooner or later mean full membership in those institutions that epitomize more than any others democracy and security, namely the European Union and NATO. Seine Ausführungen zu uns zu machen und wir dann später in I think for our country, uh, what is uh, good that now the conditions of uh, accession to NATO are very clear. Uh, we have to uh, meet the requirements as far as the uh, Hungarian armed forces are concerned as far as the principles of NATO is concerned. That means parliamentary democracy, the rule of law and market economy. So we know what we have to do if we want to join the alliance. Different ways during the meeting. Well, I think that our future membership in NATO is a foregone conclusion. The only problem is when and how. Uh, and when we talk about practicalities, the question is how should we restructure our forces? Uh, what kind of uh, infrastructural changes we should introduce? But basically, what kind of changes in procedures in military doctrine uh, we should adopt to be more compatible with NATO standards? The enlargement is a political decision. So I can imagine that there is unanimity in order to take in nation A, even if all the conditions from the military or budgetary point are not fulfilled, uh, and that a nation B, fulfilling all those conditions, is not coming in. So democracy in the army, too. In the organization of the, st organization of the state, the respect of the human rights, and of course, the willingness to cooperate, to be more than uh, a security consumer, if I may say, is uh, essential to me. Herr von Kleist, meine Damen und Herren, da haben die künftigen Mitglieder von EU und NATO enorme Erwartungen. Denen setzen wir aber auch enorme Erwartungen entgegen. 